The size of an SUV can make you feel safer. But it comes with its own challenges. SUVs have off-road options. But they aren't fully equipped for off-road terrain. If you know what you are doing. Driving an SUV is safe. So, we are going to watch about the how to drive an SUV. Method 1. Preparing to drive. First is keep your tires aired up. Tire pressure is more important for SUVs than other smaller vehicles because of their size and weight. SUVs are heavier than most vehicles, prone to rolling, and are sometimes used for off-roading. No matter how you use your SUV, the tires must be balanced to avoid. Step 2. Check around your vehicle before getting into the driver's seat. Because SUVs are so high off the ground, it's hard to see if items, pets, or people are around your vehicle. Before you even get in the vehicle, check around your car to make sure that the area is clear. Finally, adjust the mirrors. Your rearview mirror should face straight out of your rear window with a full picture behind your car. To provide the best view around your car, you should tilt the mirror just wide enough that your car nearly disappears from view. Method 2. Driving in clear conditions. First is avoid distractions. Don't use your phone, eat snacks, Put on makeup, or play with your radio. Keep your eyes on the road at all times. When driving an SUV, you should be more alert than in other vehicles. Step 2. Increase speed slowly. Because of the size of your vehicle, you'll need to slowly increase your speed. Aggressively pressing on the gas can make it harder to control your vehicle. Finally, allow extra space between you and the vehicle in front of you. A common way to determine a safe driving distance is to use the 3 second rule choose a landmark like a sign and count how many seconds it takes for you to pass in an suv allow for more than three seconds method three preventing rollovers first is avoid swerving your suv is more likely to roll over if you turn the wheel too quickly instead keep a firm hand on your steering wheel and slowly pump the brakes Step 2. Slow down on curved roads. You should drive slowly enough that you barely have to turn the wheel when you go around curves. SUVs easily go onto the shoulder on curved roads, creating a hazard because the vehicle can roll. Step 3. Avoid sudden turns. Sudden turns shift your vehicle's weight and can make the vehicle lose its balance, which can cause a rollover. Slow down before a turn, or lightly pump the brakes as you get closer to the turn. Finally, avoid storing items on the roof. Storing items on the roof of your SUV shifts the center of gravity and increases your risk of rollover. To stay safe, secure your cargo inside the vehicle. Method 4. Driving in bad weather. First is drive slower than you would in a smaller vehicle. Reduce your speed by at least 10 miles under the speed limit. SUVs are equipped with four-wheel drive, so they can speed up more quickly. However, they do not slow down any faster. Step 2. Avoid going off-road during bad weather. All-wheel drive doesn't mean that your vehicle isn't vulnerable in bad conditions. Your vehicle won't be able to navigate very well in the wet, muddy, or icy conditions. Step 3. Drive in the middle lane when the roads are wet. Wet roads can cause hydroplaning and will make it harder for you to stop. Water tends to gather on the sides of the road, so the middle lane will be the least wet. Step 4. Slow down on wet or icy roads. Go especially slow around intersections, bridges, overpasses, off-ramps, and shady spots. Wet and icy roads can cause hydroplaning and make it harder to stop your vehicle. Finally, avoid using cruise control on icy roads. You need to be in full control of your vehicle when roads are icy. And cruise control takes away some of your control. Increase and decrease speeds using only your pedals during icy conditions. Method 5. Going off-road. First is avoid extreme off-roading. Average SUVs are not made for extreme conditions. Unless your model specifically says it is made for extreme terrain. Choose only mild off-road conditions. Stick to dirt roads, firm soil, and flat areas. Step 2. Tell people where you are going and how long you'll be there. You may not always have cell service when off-road. So be sure to tell someone where you're going beforehand. If something happens and your vehicle becomes stuck or disabled. You will need someone to know where to look for you. Step 3. Secure all cargo. Try tying down your cargo, and put as much as you can in the back of your vehicle behind the seats. Loose cargo will move while you drive off-road and cause your vehicle's center of gravity to shift. Step 4. Engage your all-wheel drive. 
All wheel drive will help you better navigate the natural terrain. And it will keep your vehicle from getting stuck if some of your wheels lose traction in the soil. Or dips in the terrain. Step 5 Use your downhill brake assist. Even mild off-road conditions can have dips. So make sure your vehicle is set in assist mode so that you are able to stop if you need to. Finally, put the SUV in first gear. You will need to move as slowly as possible and with as much control as you can have over a vehicle. First gear is the best choice. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.